Hi guys, how are you? Well, welcome to Lady MC. Today I want to talk about something that's broken. Look at that. Before I do that, if you're new to my channel and your first time here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. That red button right there is absolutely free. And I'd love to have you part of Lady MC channel. And that bell, that little gray bell on the top, if you hit that one, that just means you're going to get an email saying, hey, ladies, put out a new video. Would you like to come and check it out? And then, of course, a thumbs up is appreciated and a comment. Join in on the conversation. I really, truly try to get back to every comment that's appreciated. And all my regular subscribers, thanks, guys, for being here. It's um, I wouldn't have a channel without all of you. So thank you for that. OK, so what am I doing with a broken salad bowl it's actually a salad bowl now this has got it really means a lot to me because i got this from my ex-mother-in-law uh i think she gave it to me about in 2007. it was something that my father-in-law ex-father-in-law but my call my father and mother-in-law i'm lucky at two sets um had and uh, she said I'm just not sure what he's going to do with a salad bowl or a set it's actually a set which I will show you after and uh, so anyway so I treasured it but darn it it broke in the box um, probably about five years ago and I was well, there's nothing I can do with it I was going to throw it out have you ever had anything like that like you know a really nice teapot or you know a beautiful something in China like something China or porcelain and it broke and you're going to throw it out and then I went, oh, I remember, well, I remember a couple of things and we've talked about this before. It's your imperfections make you unique. So that's just not personal. That can apply to this. Your imperfections make you beautiful. Cause you know what? Sometimes it's the quirkiest little things about us that make us the most beautiful. And I have a hard time like kind of getting to the point where I go, yes, that really makes me beautiful. Like I get that. But once you can get there, it's a, actually a really good feeling. But then I remembered this. And I don't know if it's going to work for me, but I'm going to try to do it. So I'm going to, I want to read this to you guys. In Japan, broken objects are often repaired with gold. The flaw is seen as a unique piece of the object's history. I mean, that's kind of like us humans, right? I mean, yeah, which adds to its beauty. Consider this when you feel broken. And I thought, okay, this is a great exercise. Remember the exercise we used to do, and I've done it many, many times in my life just to get through stuff, when you just had stuff and you needed to get rid of the stuff. I don't remember, I used to have this big yellow pad and I would write down the stuff, the stuff that I didn't need, the garbage in my life. And I would write it down and I would crumple it up and throw it in the garbage and to get rid of it. And those are really good exercises to do. But what about mending ourselves? What about fixing the stuff that hurts us or whatever? Can we put ourselves back together? Can we? Of course we can. Are we stronger for having learned the lesson? Of course we are. So why not if you have something this beautiful put it back together as i hope i will and what a wonderful reminder every time we look at it or we put it out i probably won't put salad in it again uh, after i've done what i've done but i can certainly keep it out and look at it and remind myself each and every time that in my journey when stuff happens you fix yourself and then you look at the beauty of it and how the the glue the glue is going to make it stronger okay so here we go i don't know if this is going to work for me but i hope it does and i hope you do something like this for yourself as well because i think it's be a good reminder i'm going to make a couple of attempts to put this back together but just like in life, when we feel broken, hurt, angry, it can take a few tries. A lot of things that we have to do to try to, well, first of all, get rid of the anger. When we get rid of the anger, then we deal with the hurt. 
And the hurt, well, they can be reminders, they can be scars. But you know, there's a lot of beauty in all of that too. And to do an exercise like this, first of all, because I absolutely love this bowl with all the memories attached to it and where I got it from and who I got it from, now I'm going to add part of my own journey in repairing it. And as I'm putting each piece back together, I may think of a moment in my life where there was tremendous hurt. And now I'm putting myself back together. And the glue is like the strength within me that said, come on, girl, you can do this. Put yourself back together. And then the gold. This bowl is going to be more beautiful than it ever was. The parts I've put back together with the glue are stronger than it was before. The gold is the makes the imperfections shine, just like it will on any of us that fix ourselves and we repeat, repair ourselves. There's so much beauty in it. Remember? The imperfections in us is that what make us beautiful, strong, and unique. not perfect. I'm thinking the pieces are missing are the pieces that may have held something in it that I needed to get rid of. See, it's all how we see it. It is strong. Of course, gold came through for me. The next time you break something, put it back together. Just and attach yourself to it. Look at that. Now, once it dries, I'll give this a wash. Isn't this beautiful? Now, look at this. It's put back together. It's more beautiful than it ever was with the gold. And just like us in real life, all those other little side dishes, let's call them the people we love, they get to benefit from the fact that you were put back together and even more beautiful than before. Thanks guys.